So just doing a quick uh, explanation on how I did these rear tail lights. Um, so I'll start off with the center panel. The center panel is fairly easy. I'd say that's the uh, the easiest of the, the two. First thing you gotta do is basically take apart your center panel. You got four screws, four very small screws. You can't really see them because I don't have them in there right now, but you basically gotta use a, uh, you gotta use pliers to sort of screw them out. So you'll have to take those four, four out and then you'll have to heat up all around the panel. And then you, you can use a heat gun, that's what I did. But uh, I would say the preferred way is to put in an oven. It heats up all the glue evenly. And as you can see, like the, when I use the heat gun, I, I damage the, uh, the casing a lot. So you can see a lot of bends here. Um, this one I actually broke the first time I attempted to do this. That's why this panel's cracked. But so heat, heat up the glue. Um, if you're using a heat gun, um, try and heat it up all evenly. Then I used a, a screwdriver to sort of pry all of it out. But I mean, as you can see, it didn't do, go too well at first, but just be really careful with it. So basically once you get everything apart, you, uh, you'll you get a um, an LED bar. I don't have it, I don't have an extra one with me right now as it's in, in the car, but uh, basically I'll just use this as an example, but you'll get an LED bar or LED strip as you can say, and then you'll paint the whole entire panel black then sand, sand all the three, the 300 ZX. So this is all clear to allow light through with the LED. And then, so once you sand everything, you can do, you can do it as much as you want. Like you can go to, I know some people go to like a, a thousand grit. So it's as clear as possible for them. I think I only went to about 240. And then, I mean that, that I found that good enough. And then basically you'll have your, your LED strip taped it on top after sanding it. After painting it, sanding the letters clear, I just taped the LED on bar on top, and then you'll have your two wires, of course. And then to route your two wires after putting everything together, I had to drill a hole in the middle of my panel. It's right here, hole in the middle of the panel. And then I took the two wires, uh, fed them through, put everything together, and then to put everything back together, uh, same thing, you just heat up, heat up all the glue, squeeze it together. I didn't, but you can put back your four screws in the top right here. I just found it a lot easier to just not use them. And after doing that, feed the wires through. And then how I routed my wires was I routed it to the license plate light. So whenever I turn on my lights, the, the rear panel also lights up. That's basically how to do the, the center panel. So the tail lights, um, same thing to take them off heat it up. I believe there, yeah, there is one screw that you'll have to take off in the center right here. It's, this one is, is just a normal, normal screw. So that, that one's easier to do. So just take off that screw, um, heat up all around your, your panel, then carefully pry it off. So for this, I used, um, another LED strip. You can see right here. I got this one off of eBay. And then, so for the wiring, for that I used diodes. This one I got, these I got off of Amazon. And then just uh, normal, normal everyday like resistors, blue resistors. I got this from just some Arduino case that I had lying around. But uh, you can get them off of Amazon. Uh, they're like $6 for a whole set. Um, I'd, I'd recommend getting a whole set instead of just getting a, a 1K. I think I got 1K as you can uh, experiment with like the dim levels you want. So if you go higher resistance, you'll have a lower level for basically your light. The same thing, take it all apart. And then a part of your, the plastic panel is this part will come, this one's broken, but you'll have this in here. And this one, there's, there's not really any glue to it. It's just carefully pried out. But um, after you've done that, what I did was I took the LED strip and then I just basically just, I basically just hot glued it to it. Um, so you basically just hot glue it here. Uh, I, I prefer not to use hot glue, to be honest. If I could change it, I'd probably use a bit, bit stronger type glue. But basically what I did was I hot glued it to this frame, this type of frame. So after gluing it, um, I sort of, I dremeled a bit here. This one I messed up. 
Um, I used pliers to try and cut it instead, but the next one I dremeled it. That one, uh, that one held up better. Dremeled a, a sort of divot here to allow the wire, wires to go through, like, like this. And then I had to also drill a hole in the rear of the panel right here, if you can see that. Right there, there's a sort of hole right there to allow the wires through. So after running the wires through there, had to figure out how to wire it. So I took took two diodes. And so, so how the lights work is you have, you got three wires, you got your normal grounds, you have your constant running 12, and then you have your 12 that lights on when you, when you step on the brake pedal. So what you have to do is take your two diodes, because what the, the diodes allow is only one-way travel of, electro, uh, of current flow. So you take your two diodes, connect them to your two, two positives, and then you take a resistor. I used a 1K. You take a 1K resistor and your diode, and you run it through the positive here. So it goes constant running 12, goes through the diode, through the resistor, then goes through the positive of the LED strip. And then when you hit the brakes, you go through the yellow wire, and then goes through the diode, and then the full 12 volt without any resistor will allow full positive voltage or full the full 12 volts to go through the uh, through the LED strip and cut and give you the light up effect and then you just connect the black wire to the to the ground as usual that's basically how you do the wiring basically so take it apart basically how it works is take apart your light um, take it apart with the heat gun oven whatever works for you make sure you take out this middle screw then you take out this uh, the frame inside of the plastic plastic covering you glue your LED strip to the plastic covering, and then you uh, dremel the middle. So this is the outside of the light. If you do the middle, you'll be able to reach the wires easier. So then you dremel the middle of the light right here, allow the wires to come through. And after that, you drill a hole through the glue channel. I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but that's just the easiest way I found. So drill a hole through there, push the wires through. You take your two diodes, connect them to the two wires. One of them will have a 1K resistor. And then you connect both of those wires to the positive, and then you connect the ground to whichever ground you want. You can connect this to the, to the harness or, or within the car. And basically that's it. And then just put everything back together. Um, yeah, I'll link everything in the description. You can see that for the center panel, I wired to the license plate. It's the license plate light, so you can see right here, right here. That's where the license plate light comes goes to, and then it's basically it's just a normal black and red wire. So just connect the red wire to the red wire, and then black to the black for the center panel. And then for the tail lights, what I did was this yellow red wire is the constant running twelve. Yeah, the yellow red wire is the constant running twelve. So you can see I splice into that, and then this right here is the the diode and the resistor. And then the full red, this full red right here, is the uh, the twelve that only goes on when uh, when you hit the brakes. Let me focus that a bit. So yeah, the yellow red is the constant twelve. So that's the one you're gonna route through the resistor. And then this full red right here, you run just a normal diode through. And then here's the here's the positive from the LED strip. So just route it like that. And then I put all my grounds. There's a ground somewhere right here. This ground right here. I routed my grounds through here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. 